Welcome back. And in keeping with our theme, again, we're going to share another great way to end the year strong by doing good for others. I'm very happy to introduce Catherine Muniz, the CEO of the Orange County Conservation Corps. Thank you so much for being with us, Catherine. Thank you. Thank you very much for the invitation. I love what you guys do, and I would love to hear it from you. So can you give me a little history of the Conservation Corps? Oh, I'd be happy to. Uh, the Orange County Conservation Corps is part of a great American legacy program uh, that was started in the 1930s during the Great Depression wow. when President and Franklin Roosevelt uh, put together the program called the Civilian Conservation Corps. And that was to take young men at that time off the streets and you know, off of poverty and put them really in an army that was, uh, that was lending itself uh, to the environment. So what they did, uh, along with the Army Corps of Engineers, they built roads and bridges, they took care of our forests and our national parks that had been uh, deteriorating. And so it's very much the same concept uh, today. That's uh, amazing, I had no idea. Yes. So it really is a legacy Very program. much a legacy program. Um, when uh, Governor Jerry Brown, when he was first time governor in California, uh, during uh, about the 1976-77, he started this, the California uh, Conservation Corps. Mm -hmm. The California Conservation Corps was again patterned after the Civilian Conservation Corps, but uh, of course it allowed young men and young women to join uh, the CCC and do work for the state parks and uh, you know environmentally driven work. Uh, from that stemmed the local or urbanized conservation course through state grants. Mm -hmm. And so the Orange County Conservation Corps started 25 years ago yeah. with uh, an initial grant through the state of California and a lot of help from the city of Anaheim and from the county of Orange mm -hmm. to do projects. Uh, and our young people came to the core to start their work. Uh, we serve 18 to 25 year old young adults who the most economically disadvantaged young people in our county wow. who most have little or no work experience. Many do not have not finished their high school diploma. So part of the program is to offer educational services that allow them to work and complete their high school diploma and then work on our crews, uh, get job skills and training, uh, and the work that we do is all environmentally driven uh, projects throughout Orange County. That's amazing. Can you give us some examples of those projects? I can. Um, we were very, we did a year-long project of fire restoration for the Anaheim Hills and Orange Fires that took place uh, 2017, yeah. that uh, they restored all the trails and delineated them um, and took out things that had been burnt, uh, materials uh, away from uh, some of those beautiful areas that people love and enjoy to walk and mm -hmm. hike. So those were all completed. Uh, we have a great project with the Disneyland Resort called the Adopt the Channel program. It's an official county program, and what we do is we go into the channels and clean them up, uh, make sure that all the debris is taken out and harmful waste so that it doesn't flow to our beautiful beaches that we love here oh, in Orange well, County. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was you we had to thank for that. <laughs> well, we are one of the partners, yeah. uh, but it is a wonderful project. Uh, we, uh, of course, have a recycling center in the city of Irvine, so we provide recycling services for anybody who wants to take their bottles and cans. We recycle uh, and uh, uh, maintain, well, wh what we do is we recycle as well uh, used oil, e-waste, and tires. Oh, wow. Uh, so we have contracts with cities that mm -hmm. uh, allow our core members and our crews to go and pick up anything that's just thrown along the wayside and that will create uh, waste and debris that we just don't want to see. So how do these young adults find you? How do they know to come to you? Well, we, of course, recruit through social media. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of it is word of mouth. Um, we have a lot of young people who refer other young people who are in need of a job, who are looking for a place to hone their skills, to get employment um, uh, opportunities that will teach them what it is to be uh, a good employee um, in the years to come. Because the, it's very rigorous work, 
uh, that our people, the young people Very do. Very physical. Very physical. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have to be up for the challenge. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, they, our crews go out in the morning about 6.45 in the morning. They come back about 2.30 in the afternoon. And then from there, they can go to school and finish up their classwork. Uh, teachers are waiting for them at the center. Uh, yes, as part we have, of the we have program. a school site. Yes, okay. uh, that uh, where our young people are actually picked up in the morning and dropped off, and then teachers are waiting there. And that's a partnership with the Orange County Department of Ed, their College and Career Pathways Academy. That's wonderful. Um, so yes, uh, we a full day of it's activity. It's a full day of activity, and, and uh, they can stay with us up to two years. And within those two years, not only are they earning money and gaining job skills and training. Uh, they are case managers work with them to develop their resumes, to understand what it is they would like to do as they you know, go into the workforce, uh, what uh, their careers might want to look like and what they might want to uh, pursue. But you don't offer housing. They don't we do live not. with you. So they, don't. they have to have a place to live and then they can come work and learn with you. Well, I will tell you, many, um, we are seeing an increase in homeless youth. Mm -hmm. So our staff will also find them uh, a place where they can stay mm -hmm. uh, with different partners that we have. Uh, but we have seen an increase also in homeless youth. I'm sure that's true. Yes. And how can people volunteer with you? How can we support you? Besides funding. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, we are always looking for great board members who are interested in helping um, our organization, of course, increase our resources and our footprint for the community. Um, those are probably our biggest volunteers. Mm -hmm. uh, we always look for volunteers who would like to come teach a class, a course. Uh, we just had uh, somebody from State Farm come and teach uh, our core members on how to buy a car oh. because they don't know. Right, how um, would they? Exactly, how would they? Uh, we're just launching a program with the Orange County Department of Ed, uh, Driver's Ed program because 80% of our youth do not have a California driver's license. Wow. So that's the largest barrier to employment. Uh, so we're ex very excited about that. Um, and uh, of course, anyone who would love to come and see our program, we'd like to see some of the projects that we're working on, we'd love to have them. Okay, how can they find you? We are located at 1853 North Raymond Avenue in Anaheim, uh, between Commonwealth and Orangethorpe. And then I'm Very sure north. there's a website that there is www.hireyouth.org. I love that. Thank <laughs> you, Catherine Muniz. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Thank you. And I hope your phones will start ringing off the hook. Well, we hope so as well. And Thank we you. we really appreciate it. And we appreciate you. And we'll be right back. <laughs>